Hello and welcome back to today's video. We're going to be picking up from the Hakuoki walkthrough of Kyoto Winds. I am excited to play this. So it's cool to see that the Shinzengumi moved into a new headquarters. And I think this this actually does happen in the anime, to my understanding, and especially in season one, they moved around a lot. Season two, they move around a lot more because they're literally traveling to different parts of the world. And it's actually interesting too, because in my Discord server, one of the things I talked about today was the fact that I wasn't necessarily a huge fan of the backdrops or the backgrounds being used commonly throughout the visual novel just because there wasn't that much but now since we're in a new headquarters we should see new backdrops backgrounds which is going to be awesome Could that be because of his new, I guess, new new version of him, which is him being a fury? Okay, that makes sense, because he's basically hidden. His peaceful smile. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't consider that smile to be very peaceful. I think Harada has a more peaceful smile. What's going on here? No, nah, that's not a trick of light. <laughs> that'd be that'd be that'd be defying the laws of physics or something like that if that was a error in light. Oh,ว่าวเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเขาเห็นว่าเ
No, Chizuru. No, don't be depressed. You know, one thing I will say is that they care a lot about Chizuru. They really do, and that is something that I appreciate about the Shinzengumi. Is that they do really take a lot of time to make sure that she's okay and that her well-being is prioritized. And on top of that, if anything bad happens to her, they take responsibility for that. Which I guess is always good. ちの良さ Oh, this is the sign. This is a sign of Soji's certain situation. I'm not going to talk too much about it just because some people that are watching this may not have seen the anime or the movies or even read the manga or played the visual novel. So I'll keep it on the down though. Oh, is that Kazuma? Or no, that's Karo. Okita being the hero that Edo deserves, that Edo needs. They call him Chief. <laughs> Tell me, Chief.
からとっとと失せろって。It's so funny too because a lot of them probably take Heske as like. Not.、Uh, I guess a lot of opponents or adversaries might not take Heske as seriously as they should. But that gives him the advantage. That gives him the element of surprise. And that's why he probably does do, does do well against a lot of people except for Amagiri. <laughs> Huh, they look so alike. I wonder why that is. I wonder who this Nagumo character is. Hmm. Could that have been intentionally implemented in the, into the narrative for some underlying specific hidden reason that has yet to unfold as the story progresses onward? Hasano.
That's good to hear. ナモ、とんでもねえ大出世だな。池田屋や金門の辺の活躍で<笑> Takadea. I think I said his name correctly. If not, it's messed up for me to do. Look at Ito. He looks so cunning. He looks like he knows, you know, he knows everything. But I guess that's what makes him somewhat of a good, interesting character is because of that duality of him kind of being somewhat of a person who, you know, no one really likes, but behind that mask is a very smart, strategical individual. And the funny thing is he's in front of them the entire time too. And he's able to get get away with all this sort of strategical thinking. Ito-san, <laughs> わたくし なぜ何でも風が治らねえとかでも気を気を拾って散々作るんだよ本当か大丈夫なのか掃除大した風じゃないんですけどね土方さんは大げさなんですよ何言ってやがるんださっきも咳してただろうが ケスケ、どうしたんだ。何か気になることでもあるのか。あのさ、近藤さん。実は俺もちょっと調子が。なんだ。ケスケも風か。気をつけないといかんぞ。せっかくの晴れ舞台。全員揃って家持ち子をお
そういや、雪村お前はどうするんだボーケてるんじゃねえよ。お前は警護に参加するのかって聞いてんだ。無論かまわんとも。君も今や新選組の一員と言っても過言ではない。ぜひ参加してくれ。危険もなさそうだしね。長州藩士は今日に手組できんから、切った葉っぱの騒ぎにもならないだろうし。What should I do? Or I guess what in this case should Cheezer do? Saburo. I can't believe him and Ito are that messed up. That sucks. I don't know what he's doing. That's so messed up how he's belittling Chizuru for no reason at all. ほら伝達は聞いたぜ。なんだそのバカ面は。俺が伝達を聞いたのがそんなにおかしい。仕事は仕事だからな。市場を挟むつもりはねえんだよ。ほら伝達は聞いたんだ。さっさと行け。
Oh, wow. Totally caught me by surprise. Wow. Some good writing. Oh, did she get knocked out? Oh, wow. Who could it be? Oh wow. They look really evil. I like the designs that they have. Or the drawing rather, my apologies. Look at Sharanui. He's not even that bad of a person, but how that image makes him out to be looks very scary. Amagiri! Greatest character in all of fictional writing. Man, imagine how Chizuru must feel, man. She must feel so, um, so scared right now. Because you got all these, like, you know, these three scary men basically trying to kidnap you. <laughs> like, that is, that is, you know, that's, that's a scary thing to even think about or imagining just from her shoes. What are they going to do? Oh, wow. Man, Shiranui. Where did Saburo go? I wonder where he went.
Wow. They're obviously going to come and save the day. <laughs> but you know, you know what's also not creepy? Supposedly, Harada asking Chizuru to sit on his lap. Or something like that. I think that was uh, said in the previous episodes. の面は金門の日以来。草連ってとこか。大して嬉しくもねえがな。財界という意味こちらも同じ。だが何の考えもわかんない。我々の邪魔立てをするつもりですか。ならば。Yamazaki. That's awesome that he's coming in to help Chizuru and the gang. The wise thing to do would be to go back to headquarters, but I mean this is such an awesome matchup that it'd be foolish not to stay. Well, it'd be, I mean it's foolish to stay, but she's got Yamazaki, Haruda, Hajime, Hijikata to protect her, so I think she's in safe hands. Hey, hey, ma. 
待てってお姫さんはここに残るっつってんだろ売られたのに邪魔してんじゃねえよわ、wow, look at that. s h r a n u i s ability to be able to dodge those quickly. So we know that s h r a n u i does have a short temper. Even Amagiri's, I mean, Amagiri's skills. <laughs> Cried for backup, didn't move, reached for my sword. But I feel like Chizuru would reach for her sword, you know? I feel like she'd do that. But who knows? That might be more of Chizuru as she develops more into, I guess, being equipped to be able to handle herself in these situations. I, I mean, she might cry, but she's been around the Shinzengumi for quite some time, so. I'll just say, uh. You know, I say reach for my sword. You know, I feel like Chizuru would draw the sword. Even though she wants to know where her father is, I think she'd, she'd basically just do it to ensure that they're okay. Kazuma called Hijikata an insect. And I will stop it right here. In the next video, we will see what happens between those two. Who wins the battle? Who does damage? So I just want to say thank you to everyone who has watched the video so far. If you liked it and you want to see more like this, please subscribe to the channel. And feel free to leave your thoughts on this walkthrough episode down below in the description and if you're interested please do check out my discord server where you can speak with me and many other hakuoki fans about this along with anything hakuoki related and other things that you might be interested so thank you for watching and have a great day